Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the tick command in Minecraft Java Edition. And so as you can probably tell, I have currently used part of the tick command to freeze the entire world. All the particles are just frozen and also all the mobs here are frozen completely as well. And this is only one of the many features of the new tick command that was introduced in Minecraft 1.20.3. And so let's go over the various parts of the tick command. First of all, to be able to use the tick command, you need to have admin permissions, which means you can't use it by default in command blocks or data packs. And you need to have cheats enabled in your world to use this command. But once you have that, then you can use the tick command. So let's take a look at the various functions. So we'll type in tick and then we'll see six different options. So let's go over them one by one, starting actually with query. So query will just give you information about the current tick rate and the tick performance so if you press enter now and open our chat we will see the following information so first of all the game is frozen that is true the target tick rate is 20 ticks per second the average time per tick is 4.1 milliseconds but the target would be 50 milliseconds and so this makes sense because with the regular tick rate of 20 ticks per second each tick on average should take 50 milliseconds but at the moment we are able to get all the way down to 4.1 milliseconds per tick which is almost 10 times faster than the regular tick rate and it gives the percentiles as well of the ticks from a sample of 100 ticks 50% were around 3.8 milliseconds only 5% was 5 milliseconds and only 1% was 14.8 milliseconds so the worst tick out of the sample of 100 ticks took around 15 milliseconds and so let's first unfreeze the game and then use that tick query command again. And we'll see the following information. So the game runs normally. The target tick rate, the average time per tick, and again those different percentiles. So 50% of ticks are above 13.4 milliseconds, 5% are above 17.4 milliseconds, and only 1% is above 30 milliseconds. But now let's move over to the second part of the tick command, which is tick rate. So tick rate. And you'll be able to put in a value after this. The value has to be between 1 and 10,000. And the default is 20. And this actually determines how fast your game runs. So if we set this to 1, you will see that the game suddenly runs a whole lot slower. And not just the particles and the mobs in your world, but also you yourself move around way, way, way slower. As you can see, I can try to jump and it takes a very long time for that to work. This could look very, very good in some sort of action movie, maybe. There's a nice sprint jump right there. And I'm just flying through the air for a very, 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 very extended and long period of time. Until I finally hit the ground right over there. And so we can also put it at 10, for example, which means per half as slow as regular, which still feels really, really strange to play. As I said before, 20 is the regular speed of the game. But you can also increase it by a factor of 500 if you want to. So let's go a little faster first. Let's set the tick rate to 200. As you can see, that pig is now moving very, very fast. That sheep over there as well. And if we look at the sun, we can actually see that the sun is moving quite fast as well. And so we can increase this further to 2000, which means it even goes even faster. However, as you can see, it isn't really a factor of 10 faster now. Because if we use slash tick query, we can see that the target is 0.5 milliseconds, but it's only getting over to 9.5 milliseconds on average. But it has become dark very quick over here. And so even though you can set this tick rate all the way up to 10,000, currently it doesn't really do that much above a tick rate of around 100. At least with our current settings. But again, as you can see, if we do tick query, yeah, it's not getting anywhere close to that target 0.1 milliseconds. It's at 9.7, which is 100 times slower. And so one way you can actually get the game to work even better, not close to that 10,000 ticks per second but still better is by for example going into your video settings setting this graphics to fast maybe lowering your render distance your simulation distance and as you can see now the game is running a whole lot faster already so let's use tick query again and we can see that we're now getting 1.4 milliseconds per tick which would be around six seven hundred ticks per second instead of the 10,000 we were after but you can see that it is already nighttime again and so this is actually a whole lot faster than what we saw before but still I cannot get to that 10,000 ticks per second sadly let me know in the comments down below how far you can get this command yourself but all right let's put this back at the original 20 
And let's move on to the rest of the tick command because there's a few more options. And so the next one we'll cover is actually tick sprint. So tick sprint allows you to actually increase the tick speed of the tick rate of your game for a limited period of time. So you can see there's some default options here. You can tick sprint for 60 seconds. You can tick sprint for one in-game day or three in-game days. But of course, you can also put in your own value like four days or one second or whatever. So let's do a tick sprint of around 10 seconds. And if we press enter, you can see the game is sprinting, which actually means that it just increases the tick rate as high as possible. And after a sprint is done, you will see a message in the chat. Server sprint completed with 107 ticks per second, which is around five times faster than usual, or 9.28 milliseconds per tick. And so our tick sprint of 10 seconds actually took only two seconds. The 10 seconds are in-game time and the two seconds are the real time. So if we do a tick sprint of 10 seconds, what it means is it actually goes forward in the game 10 seconds as fast as possible. So we do this, you can see that after a short period of time, you'll get sprint completed with 357 ticks per second or 2.8 milliseconds per tick. And if we do one, for example, for the suggested 60 seconds like this, it's sprinting, you can see the mobs moving around quite fast. And there we go, it's already completed those 60 seconds of in-game time with 360 ticks per second, which is 18 times faster than usual. And so there's a second part of this tick sprint command. So if you do a longer tick sprint, so let's say tick sprint for one day, like this, now we will have to sprint through an entire day, which will probably take a while, and it started raining. Thundering, actually. Let's clear that. We can see it's sprinting through an entire day, but if we don't want it to complete that, what we can do is actually, while it's sprinting, type in tick sprint stop like this and press enter. And it says a tick sprint interrupted, but it still gives you that the sprint completed and how fast it was doing during that sprint. And then let's move on to the final part of the tick command, which is a tick freeze command. So we'll type in tick freeze, and this does exactly what you think it will do. It freezes the game exactly right there. But the player and any entities the player is riding will still be able to move. Which feels very, very surreal, especially in a cherry grove biome with these falling particles. And there's a bunny right here, completely stuck in this animation. There's some creepers right here, which no, they will not do anything anymore. Even if you go into survival mode now, these creepers will not be able to do anything to us. If we hit them, you can see they stay red as well. And yeah, that looks quite strange. And so, of course, if there's a tick freeze command, there's also a tick unfreeze command. But before we take a look at the tick unfreeze command, let's actually take a look at the tick step command. Because this can only be used after you've frozen the game. And then you can make it so that you can step forward only a single tick or a single second in the game. So if you do tick step one tick like this, press enter, the game moves forward a single tick and then freezes again. We can do that again. And again, and again, and again. And we can do this as many times as we want. And you can see all of the mobs get their knockback as well that they were supposed to be getting after I hit them. But instead of using one tick, you can also use a second. So for example, a second or two seconds like this. The game runs smoothly for two seconds. And then it freezes again. Let's try it again. And there we go, it froze right in this explosion, which looks really, really cool. All particles and items here are frozen, I can't pick them up either. Unless, of course, I go one tick further. There we go, and I picked up some of those items. Now, similar to the tick sprint command, you can also stop the tick step command by first using the tick step for a longer period of time. So let's say a thousand seconds, like this, and then tick step stop. And you can interrupt that tick step and freeze the game again. And then finally, there's the tick unfreeze command as well. So tick unfreeze, press enter, and that completely unfreezes the game again. And so there we go. Those are all the features of the tick command in Minecraft Java Edition. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe.